This is how you copy a contact within Outlook 2010. Let me explain the scenario. You have a new company and they have multiple contacts within the company. You don't want to retype all of the information for every contact. We're going to show you how to take care of that today in Outlook 2010. So let's go to our contact folder and we're going to create a new contact right here. And let's say the full name is John Smith. Company is going to be Gadget Manufacturing. And uh, let's say the email is John Smith at GadgetMFG.com. Uh, telephone number is going to be 800 555 1212. We'll go down here to the fax, give them a, a similar number. And any uh, address we'll do here, we'll just uh, say any street, any town. So we'll go ahead and save this contact. Uh, it's going to verify that we have the address laid out correctly, or, or Outlook has laid it out correctly, and we'll say OK. And so we will do a quick search, and there's our contact. So select it by clicking on it, left click. And then we're going to press Control C and then Control V. Now we're going to get this dialog box because it's going to detect a duplicate contact and it's just trying to protect us. So we need to say here Add New Contact. It's very important. Otherwise, this is not going to work. You end up with one contact again if you just leave it on Update Information. So we'll click Add. And we have our second contact. Let's double click to open. We'll change this to Jane Smith. Um, we'll update the email address. And we'll update um, everything else should remain the same. Maybe you have an extension here that you'd want to update. And of course, you can go in here and uh, add an extension. And of course, it'll format it out correctly. And then we'll just save and close. And that's how you create multiple contacts within a company and save some time in Outlook 2010. Thanks for watching.